Would you like to make your Kajabi pages look better? Unlock thousands of creative fonts without paying a developer or without writing any technical code yourself? Well, if you do, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you you can take the boring Kajabi code and turn it into something a little bit special. Typically, Kajabi out of the box, where using nice fonts is concerned as well, it's a little lacking. Sorry, Kajabi, that's just the way it is. The text options in Kajabi allow you to create something like this. Not very good, is it? The fact is, to create fancy text like this, it's actually really simple. I'm going to show you how you can unlock thousands of fonts so you can really spice up your pages. There's lots of choice when it comes to fonts. You're not stuck with the plain, boring standard ones. I really don't understand why Kajabi doesn't make this easy. <laughs> so I will. Now, we're not getting technical. And once you understand these simple concepts that I'm going to teach you, you're going to be able to spice up all kinds of things in your pages very easily. So let's jump over to the Kajabi admin. I've created this page here in Kajabi. Well, actually, I've not created it. It's one of the supplied templates. But anyway, it's only for demo purposes. If I scroll down, and I've got to say I do like their templates. If I scroll down, here is a typical setup. We've got images on the left and a bit of text, boring, plain, Kajabi formatted text. Now, underneath, same images on the left. This time, I've added a nice custom font to the header to make it stand out. And at the bottom here, I've made this look like a quote. And I've also made it a little bit bigger than the rest of the text. Now, here's the thing. Making your text look so much more professional is just a case of copying and pasting. If you can copy and paste, you're good to go. You just have to know what to copy and what to paste. And you will, because I'm going to show you. So let's take this boring text and make it look a little bit nicer. I'm just going to switch to Google and I'm going to search for Google fonts. There it is. I'll just click on it. And now look, look at all these fonts that you can use. There's absolutely thousands of them. And up here at the top under categories, I can select different styles. I've all kinds of options. Anyway, I think I'll open the handwriting. So we'll just deselect those. There we go. I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to select, there we go, tangerine. I like the regular 400, so I'll select that. Now, if this sidebar here doesn't open, you may have to click this little icon here that hides and displays the sidebar. Now, so over here on the left, what we're going to do, we want to select import. Now, don't worry, you don't have to have a clue what all this means. All you've got to do is copy and paste it. So I'll highlight it. Control C on the PC or Command C on the Mac to copy. Then I'll jump back to Kajabi. I'll click settings. And then down here, I want custom code. So I'll just click to insert my cursor. Then Control V on the PC or Command V on the Mac to paste it. And then click save. Now we need another snippet from the Google Fonts page. So we'll go back to Google Fonts. And then this in this second box here, that's the bit we want. So. Command C to copy and then jump back to Kajabi. And then what we're going to do, if I scroll up, what we're going to do now is make this header look a little bit more attractive. So I shall click here to edit to make sure this text window opens up on the left hand side. And then up here, top left, can you see this source code on the mouse over it? If I click on that to bring up the source edit window, and then just let's just bring that down a little bit just so we can see what we're doing a little bit better. Now here at the top, can you see this here, this H1? It starts with an arrow, then it's got H1, and then it's got another arrow. What we want to do, we're going to make our own tag. Now, I don't want to scare you because it's really not hard. We're going to make our own tag, and it's real simple. And I'll even give you the snippets below this video so you don't have to do any typing. It's all cut and paste, no coding required. What we're going to do is add a span tag. Now, let me bring up an example in nice big text so you can see exactly what's going on. Here we've got our span tag. And then between these quotes here, that's where we need to paste in the Google snippet. So that goes in there like that. And then whatever text we want goes in there. That's going to be the text that the viewer sees. So what we're going to do is we'll copy the front part of this span tag. So I'll copy that, jump back to Kajabi, paste that in there like that, and then jump back over to our code. And then I want this 
end spam tag. You can tell it's an end tag because it's got the little slash in it. Jump back to Kajabi. Insert it there just after the text that we want to display. Hit OK. Hit save. And that's it. See how easy that is? But what about this text down here? Well, it's almost the same. And I'm going to show you a simple way to have total control over the size of your text in any part of your pages in Kajabi. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back over here to the source editor. And then we'll just copy that there. Now, notice this time, it isn't, there isn't a header tag. It's a P tag, which is a paragraph tag. But it doesn't matter. It's all the same. So I'm going to put my cursor in there and paste and then just after the text i'm going to add the closing span tag so remember the closing span tag is the one with a little slash in it that tells it to, to stop being a span tag and to turn back to normal now if we click ok and then click save you can see it's down here but it's that's way way too small so what we need to do we need to increase the size of the font so what we're going to do is jump back over here to the source code and then we're going to go into our span tag here and then just after this comma here we're going to put a space and then type font hyphen size colon and I think we'll do 150% and then we want a semicolon and that's it. Click OK. Click save. Voila. Now you know what to do. You can do all kinds of things to your text apart from just adding new font styles. You can underline your text. You can colour single words in a sentence or even all sentences if you like. You can even cross out and mix and match them as you choose. And I've included all the examples in the example file below this video. Well, there you go. I hope this helps you gain a little bit more control over your page layout and customise texts in Kajabi. So, until next time, bye for now.